Hello there, everyone, and uh, welcome to this uh, live stream from flytying.eu. Um, as uh, as I said uh, last Thursday, this is uh, this is going to be. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Christian. Um, um, as I said last Thursday, was was the the final one in Danish. So uh, so from now on, this is on every uh, every Thursday at at this hour, um, right here on on this channel. So if if you want to have notices about uh, what uh, what will we will be doing and stuff like that, please uh, please subscribe to the channel here. Um, and uh, and uh, well, otherwise, just uh, we hope you will uh, will enjoy this. I'm just gonna close some stuff here. Um, otherwise, we hope you will enjoy this, and uh, and uh, and we appreciate very much that you are uh, you 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 are swinging by to to actually to to see this. Um, today we're sorry. I think now I have to terminate this and start all over because uh, there's going to be a feedback loop. I'm pretty sure. Can you tell me if there's going to be if 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 there is a feedback loop? Um, and uh, and otherwise, I would like to to hear if if the the the, the audio is okay and uh, and uh, and the imagery is is okay as well. Um, uh, on uh, on both sides, I think actually I've gotten this fairly fairly nice. The the quality fairly fairly it's all fine. Oh great, thank you thank you Christian. Um, well, basically, um, what I was saying was was welcome everyone. And uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know pedal a bit and, and talk a little about stuff. Uh, it's in order for for people to get people on there. Um, and, uh, I I can see that everyone thinks uh, everything is okay. I'm glad for for that. Uh, today I I have a I have a, a special visitor a guest who whom I, I'm hoping to we will see more to and who who will be participating in 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 many of these uh, these uh, these live streams hopefully and and probably will do some on his of on on his own. This is John my um, my, um, what do you say? My partner in crime is, is that the right? <laughs> that the correct? Your business partner. Yeah, the, my <laughs> my business partner, John, just uh, just uh, just bought uh, half of uh, half of uh, Flytang the EU. He's an, a very old friend I've known for quite a long time. So so he's gonna he's gonna do some videos as well on 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 the channel and generally be will be involved in in the shop, of course. Um. So basically, uh, we we've we've we we've, we've, we're gonna expand the shop and do a lot with, with that and and also expand on these. Um. So uh, so we're happy that that you swing by to see this and and i think that's enough for introduction and i think we should probably just move on to uh, they're, they're saying hello to you john so hi everybody um, good evening hi david uh Hen hendrik is asking if uh, how your how your trip to new zealand went uh it was awesome we had some uh, weather issues but we had a good trip uh, thank you for asking <laughs> Yeah, yeah. John <laughs> just went to to New Zealand. So, okay. But uh, basically, uh, uh, today we're gonna do uh, two different flies. The first one is is this one. This is gonna be a small gamarus. I think uh, gamarus is 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 the right term. Um, uh, and also, we're gonna do some uh, some perch or bass, uh, a small perch or bass popper. Um, I've had a lot of requests from people uh, about uh, tying more perch flies, so I think that's something I'm gonna I'm gonna do. Um, uh, if you haven't already, then I really really would appreciate it if you would go to. Just gonna find something here. Hi Mike. Good to meet you. <laughs> from US. Um, if if you if you if you like the concept and and want to to be more involved in this uh, in this live stream, uh, uh, then then uh, please go to to the Facebook group I just linked to in in the chat here and uh, and and join that group because uh, this group it's it's a group in English. It's the group where I'm gonna where we're gonna talk about what different patterns, what 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 styles of flies, what different kind of flies you would like to 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 see here. Uh, so basically, if you want to be more involved and have a have a bigger um, a bigger influence on uh, on exactly what what we will be doing these Thursdays. Then uh, join that group uh, I've linked to in uh, in the uh, in the chat there. Okay, um, enough uh, enough rantings for now. I think basically we should just uh, just uh, get started. As I was saying, um, first fly of, of the evening is this small gamos, and uh, basically it's it's not that simple. It does not require that many materials. Um, a little though. We're gonna use some deer hair, some SLF squirrel dubbing. Some flashy boo uh, red uh, flash dubbing, and some of these very very nice uh, uh, pro gamarus shells, uh, some uh, some uh, some wire, and then of course um, a hook. 
and 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 these are quite nice. These these are some some magnetic hook boxes. And the hook we're gonna use today is is a curved gamma wash hook from um, from the 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 the, the, the Danish uh, fly hook company called Arix. Basically, I'm I'm mounting one of these hooks here in my in my vise, and uh, <coughs> I'm gonna pick a black thread for this because the white will look a bit a bit strange. For this, I'm just gonna tighten my bobbin a bit like so. Um, and uh, and well, as I was saying, this is a fairly nice looking fly. It looks fairly realistic without uh, without too much trouble, too much effort. So so you actually get a very very nice fly. It fishes very well. Um, uh, and uh, and as I was saying, it looks kind of uh, uh, kind of realistic without having to put too much of an effort into this. So basically, I'm just adding some thread here to have some 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 good and sound. A base of tying thread all the way over the hook here to ensure that uh, that all my material stay there. So I'm just gonna move a bit back and forth here, just to have something for my for my wire to to uh, to actually attach to, like so. Um, uh, when you're fishing in streams um, uh, all over the world, you will you will encounter these uh, these gamos. Uh, they're they're probably one of the most common uh, food. Uh, the most common food you'll find in any stream because they are highly, highly tolerant even to to quite uh, large amounts of, of pollution as well. So <coughs> even if you're fishing in, let's say, a, a Danish stream or something like like that, because we have some problem with pollution here, you will find uh, often quite a large amount of of these uh, these these small crustaceans. I think I pronounced that rather well. If I didn't, then uh, you must uh, you must say something in the chat. Crustacean. It's a small crustacean and. Um, and basically, there is quite a lot of these. And this fly is, is very well suited to fish both uh, both freshwater, saltwater, and 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 streams and rivers because uh, basically this fly is uh, th 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 these these crustaceans are all over. They are everywhere, and uh, and that's very very nice. So you can actually take this pattern and you can go sea trout fishing on the coastline. You can use it in uh, for grayling. You could use it for for any type of trout because basically this is numerous and abundant all over. Um, so upstream, downstream, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's it's a great pattern, and it's something that trout will recognize and and will know. Um, so yeah. Uh, first up, I'm gonna tie a small. Um, I'm gonna tie a small tail on this, and I'm using uh, one of these. This is the bra uh, the the whiting brahmas. You could easily use uh, use partridge or anything, but but what I like uh, on on these is uh, the feathers here have some amazing 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 uh, patterns and colors, and and I really must say I'm very very impressed with these uh, these brahma brahma both saddles and and also capes. So I'm taking a feather. I'm just gonna switch back now. I'll definitely stay more. <laughs> I'm happy to hear so. They're like cockroaches. What fly are you gonna tie? Oh, uh, for those who've just joined now, I'm gonna tie this a small gamma crustacean kind of thing. Well, basically, I just take one of these feathers, and and one feather is 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 more than enough for for this pattern. So I'm just gonna strip all all this woolly stuff here. We're not gonna use that. And then I'm taking some of the fibers here from one of the sides here, like so. Basically, this is going to be the tail. So, not too many uh, of these, but just a small amount. You can tie this on a, on a, on a regular uh, on a regular hook as well, because uh, you don't need a, a curved hook. Looks nice because it makes this fly look uh, a lot more like like the actual gamarus, uh, like the actual crustacean when you're holding it in your hand. But um, but but when these swim. They actually actually swim straight straight uh, straightened uh, completely out. So so if you tie this on a, on a regular hook, it will it will work as well. It will not look as 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 much uh, flashy and and as good in your box, but it will it will do the same trick out in the water, which basically is <laughs> the most important thing. I, I had a bit too too few strands of of tail, so I'm just gonna add a bit more here, like so. And when you do this, and and you're gonna use one of these prefabricated uh, uh, shells, then it's quite important to to actually know how big your shell is. This is the size large, and the hook here is a size eight, because uh, well, basically I'm gonna use this for for salt water as well. So I'm not, and and it's easier for me to show you how stuff is if I'm not tying on let's say a size sixteen or something like that, because these uh, these small buggers come in in every size and in every color. So uh, 
get Sagamaru's pattern, Leonardo. Yeah. Um, uh, comes in, in 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 a lot of different sizes and a lot of different colors and uh, and even if if you've seen there is quite a lot of of, of patterns of, of 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 this type of fly that has a red dot on there uh, has has a red dot uh, a red spot on it and that's actually a, 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 quite a nice story to that because uh, the, the red dot on these is actually something uh, that that uh, that works out in in real life it, it turns out that these small buggers have a parasite and this parasite makes them act kind of uh, kind of strange because it makes them, for one, uh, change color, so they will get a, a big orange or, or red spot on them, uh, and also they will change uh, completely uh, in regards to how they behave. They will swim up to the top of the surface, have this bright, bright uh, uh, spot, and be very, very easy to see. And that's because this parasite uh, that can rest inside these, I'm just going to take some, some, uh, some monofilament ribbing because I need that. And yes, to all the Danes who have uh, watched a lot of, of my, uh, my Danish uh, uh, videos, I did remember the rib this time. So <laughs> uh, that's a good thing because uh, I've done a lot of videos where I've actually forgotten this. But as I was saying, it changes completely the... Uh, the, the way that this actually behaves, these small crustaceans behaves, uh, because uh, part of, of the parasite's life cycle is inside ducts. And they have to go in uh, through the digestive system of a duck in order to actually uh, to actually be successful in, 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 in producing offspring. So this parasite simply makes the gamerus uh, turn orange, uh, or at least have a, a very bright orange or, or red spot, and then swim up to the surface. And trout, of course, will benefit from this as well. This will make the gamerus easier. So so you could have done uh, this pattern with a, with an orange spot on it. That's also why you probably see uh, see uh, a lot of patterns with that. And, and probably some of you have, have experienced this out on the water. Well, basically, um, now uh, I just tied the rib here because then I'm, I can. It's good, it's important that it's it's before I tie my 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 shell, my back, because then uh, when when I turn it, it will it will be uh, in the right place. So basically, I take this, and as you can probably see, it has some eyes on there, and I'm gonna have the eyes in the front. You could have them in the back as well, depending on how. And if it was a shrimp pattern, you probably would have the eyes in the back. But but when this swims, it of course swims with the eyes in front. It's only when it's really really trying to escape that it uh, it actually makes this kind of jerky shrimp jump thingy, whatever you want to call that. And um, so basically, I'm gonna tie this as a non-escaping gamos, a regular free swimming gamos. Like so. And so you have there, and, and and it's important to see. And what you want is, is you want it to be all the way up here, and you want the eyes to be all the way in front, but you do not want it too far, because we're going to have a lot of dubbing here. So so basically, uh, the correct will, will be that the eyes are a bit further, are a bit behind the actual the actual uh, hook eye because um when 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 i push uh, pull this over the 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 dubbing i want this to curve down on the sides around my dubbing um and and in order for that to do that i needed to st i need to stretch it okay i'm just going to hang that off to the side and now we're going to make a dubbing blend and in order for, for to make it to make a cool dubbing, you could basically just use this. It has a lot of different coarser hairs and stuff like that. The the squirrel dubbing, but uh, but I like it to be even more more rough and even more you know fluffy and have a lot lot more different. That could look like antennae and uh, and legs and stuff like that because these buggers they have a tremendous amount of legs. <laughs> um. So basically, I take some of the dubbing here, and then I take some uh, then I take some uh, some uh, some uh, deer hair. And I only want the tips of these uh, of these deer hairs because I'm going to mix them into the to the dubbing to make something that looks li more like antennas and uh, and legs. So I take a bundle of this, and then I simply I simply cut off all the the lower part. So I, I only get the tips here because otherwise this would be too long. Oh, cutting off this, so I have some some hairs that are not not too long. I'm going to change camera. That's probably going to be easier to see. That are not too long. Something like that. And then I simply add them into the mix here, and then I take some uh, some red uh, red flashy boo dubbing uh, to 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 spice things up a bit, and uh, and basically I just I take this and I blend it, and and the way I do that is simply I pull it out, I turn it around, and then lay it on top here. Pull it out, turn it around, and lay it on top. And as you can see, these uh, these uh, these uh, red uh, flesh fibers here really really looks nice. Really makes this dubbing. 
dubbing looks like something bloody and 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 yeah, you could you could use seal as well, but but this is squirrel. You know, the the small rodent that climbs up trees and eat eggs out of the nest of of singing birds. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They uh, quite a lot of their uh, quite a lot of their uh, their their food comes from uh, from from stealing eggs and uh, and killing off small singing birds. Uh, <laughs> simply, simply, you know, just rubbing the nests. They're quite quite mean bastards, but they're nice. I, I like them anyway. I think they're cool and and looks looks uh, very nice and pretty. But they are they have dark and dark and uh, dark secrets as well. <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I did not get. Oh, and uh, I think it's about time now for this. I have to show you something. This is really really cool. Um, for Christmas. Uh, one day, this simply just arrived in the mail. This is uh, this is a, a, a kind of a big glass and mug with my name on it and my my beloved sixpence uh, pika, which is another thing I love. They even took uh, the logo we're using for the shop now and they printed onto this cup and then sent me this because they simply uh, uh, some guys from from uh, from Odense, a big city. They're called Odense uh, Fjordbomser. Which is, translates into to uh, the the trout bumps from from uh, f uh, from the from the fjord of of Odense. Uh, so I'm gonna use this today, uh, and and really really this is much much appreciated. I, I was I was I was truly touched when when this arrived in the mail. I did a terrible job of that. You know. Ah, sorry about this that intermission. If my ranting is too much, please please tell me and out in the. Uh, out in the in in the, in the in the in the chat here. So basically, I have my dubbing now, and then I'm gonna make a dubbing loop because a dubbing loop is, is nice for this and will will give me the effort the, the possibility to have a bit more dubbing and and to have the dubbing um uh, you know be a lot more fluffy. So basically, I just made my I just made my um, my dubbing loop, and then I'm taking my thread all the way up here to the front of the fly. Let me know, John, if, if they want to know something or or, or whatever. So, I'm going to take my dubbing reel if I can locate it. Here it is, and this is just... Yeah, this is without a doubt the best dubbing reel in, in the entire world. The CF Design stuff is truly, truly awesome. Mess tells me on the, on the chat that he needs you to say hello yourself. <laughs> Hello, Mess. <laughs> Here you go, Mess. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. Is that called? I think that's the right way to say it. So basically, I'm taking some of this dubbing and added it, adding it to the dubbing loop here. And uh, and as you can probably see, uh, uh, these these deer hairs uh, is is truly a nice mix uh, in in here. They they really really look looks well and uh, and 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 adds a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of, for lack of a better word, mayhem and uh, and uh, and lifelike legs to uh, to to this pattern. If you really want to uh, want a cool dubbing, then you can make a dubbing look entirely from uh, from the tips of, of deer hair. That's really really great for for tying uh, tying caddies, uh, dry flies, and stuff like that. So basically, now I'm gonna spin my dubbing here, my dubbing loop. I think something is stuck. Yeah. And as you can see, I have a bit too much here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take carefully take some of these out and put it, of course, in in the pile here because uh, when when you start doing this, you could probably you know tie a tie a few of these. I'm just gonna tie one today, but but a few is is always nice. So so in order to save materials, so, so nothing is wasted, simply just. Put... <laughs> um, you can save it. You can save it. Yeah, I can. And I'm sorry about that, but you know that's basically what can happen when you when you're doing this live. <coughs> if it had been a video, I probably would have fixed it in some fancy way, or even just you know, redid the video. But I can probably save it, like so. I managed to catch the the, the thread was uh, uh, was uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it broke, uh, but uh, but I think I, I think I saved it with my with my hackle plier. So basically, I'm just gonna turn this. And one thing that's important here is you do not want too much dubbing in here. If you get too much dubbing, 
into this uh, into this loop, what will happen is you will you will get a you will get a, f a very fat uh, a very fat gamma rose that will not uh, look very well when you when you when you're turning the uh, oh crap I need to do a bit more <laughs> I'm gonna save this but it's it's not gonna be you know this is <laughs> this is life. <laughs> Like that, and the rest here in front here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make from just ordinary dubbing the the thread here. You know, I hope you can uh, you can bear with me and uh, and uh, and uh, and appreciate that I'm really struggling for you guys. <laughs> I really want this to to succeed and then to show you this. So basically, I'm just gonna take a, a little dubbing here and just put that on the thread directly on the thread for 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 the 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 last two millimeters or, or so here on the fly here. Like that. Like so. Good. Second try. Don't <laughs> show us a perfect loop. <laughs> now show us a perfect loop. Uh, yeah, if, if we have time, I'm going to tie one more of these, but it doesn't look like it. Um, it's important to drink your beer before it gets cold. Uh, well, no, warm, of course, warm, because <laughs> there's a lot of light here from uh, from these two very, very big, uh, very, very big uh, lights here. So now I'm I'm gonna turn the uh, turn uh, turn the shell here, and again I use my uh, I use my my hackle plier to do this, and I'm pulling this as far up here as I can, and then I'm gonna tie it down right there. Right before the eye, like so. Just gonna adjust it so it fits. And then I'm gonna take my rib. Turn this fairly evenly. That. Make sure the rib here is side down and of course now what would be perfect was the rip was would gonna snap as well gonna cut the small thing up there and there you can you can see how it is from up top and of course I'm gonna drag out some stuff and uh, of the dubbing here but I'm just gonna finish this off by taking the feather we used in the beginning to make a small uh, to make some small antennas uh, out in front here exactly the same way as we did with the uh, with the tail These are not going to be that long. Something like that. There. I'm going to take my best scissor. And then I'm going to make a whip finish. Uh, well, Johannes, I used to be. I'm not anymore because I think you have to be a student in order to be uh, a member of uh, Loma uh, But I used to be, and I had I have some quite uh, quite good and fond memories of of that club. Well, basically, uh, that's about it. But in order for this to look really, really cool, really awesome, and have the right effect, I'm of course gonna take my dubbing needle here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take out a bit dubbing of dubbing here. Brush out the dubbing, so so it's gonna be. Looking a bit more rough and a bit more lifelike. Would you mind shutting the door? <laughs> I did it again. I goddamn did it again. <laughs> That's the okay. This is a tutorial on exactly uh, not to do how not to do this. You know, <laughs> so so when you're doing these at home, if, if you're going to do these at home, then then uh, look at this video and th and think how can I avoid making uh, those kind of of, uh, of rookie mistakes as Daniel did. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save this as well. You know what? Um, 
Um, I have another trick that I'm going to do, uh, that I was going to do anyway, uh, in order to finish this, that will make uh, the rib not that important, but still important. But, you know, I'm going to leave that stump of ribbing until I'm done with this next part. So, basically, do another whip finish and, okay, like so. And then I'm going to do this before I, I pull out any more dubbing. Like so. Yeah, you can laugh, laugh away. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, really, really, I, I know that uh, stuff is not always perfect. But what I want to do now is I want to take this, uh, this, uh, this UV glue because if you add UV glue to these, uh, these shells, then they really, really, uh, they, sh they have a, they, they will have a, a very nice hue and a very nice shine to them. So basically, I'm gonna add a small amount of super glue to the carapace of this. All the way up here, you can you use varnish as well. But the the UV glue here is is nice for this because it's so easy and fast to use. Like that, and I'm gonna take my UV light if I can find it. But basically, uh, these UV pens are really really nice and very very cheap, and uh, the best uh, the best UV lights I ever ever worked with. Like so, and uh, and as you can see, I should have done that before I I started pulling out dubbing because then uh, then my ribbing would have been uh, completely safe inside the uh, the UV glue. But anyway, it still looks it still looks fairly fairly nice. This even though it it had some it had I, I had some trouble while brewing this. What are you pulling? They're talk, talking about uh, the Hegel uh, plan for, for pulling out no sand. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you probably <laughs> use that as well. Um, uh, in regards, I see some someone is asking about the uh, the Danish live stream. I, I I regret to say that that I have to uh, I had to make a make a tough call uh, regarding uh, these live streams because I simply it simply was not possible for me to uh, to to you know have the shop have my uh, my job as a teacher uh, do live streams and uh, and also you know. Uh, my family is rather important as well and stuff like that. So, so I had to cut it to one one a week, and then I decided that um, this one a week is is going to be in English uh, because uh, I think I can reach a broader audience. And and I did a I did a poll in 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 one of these uh, Facebook groups about uh, what and and a lot of people said that that English was was fine. By the way, if you didn't see. Um, I said this in in the beginning. Um, I've just linked to a Facebook group, and in this Facebook group, uh, if you join there, I will be uh, we will be asking about uh, what types of flies, what types of patterns you really would like to to see. So so join that group, and uh, um, uh, yeah, for like I had more more viewers in Danish, but I think that's basically just a matter of time. Uh, I think the potential here in 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 English is 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 greater, and and it's not going to be. I think because I want to reach Sweden and Norway and Germany and, and you know Spain and stuff like that as well. I really want to want to to to, to so so yes, I had more views, uh, more viewers in Danish in in the in, in the in the early stages, but but I think this will be uh, will be better in the long run. And 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 most of the people who are watching in in Danish before uh, said that they they would they wouldn't mind uh, watching this as well in English. So. But maybe I'm wrong, you know. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. That that happens quite a lot that I'm I'm wrong. But <laughs> but uh, you know I'm gonna try this and and we'll see. And and if if, uh, if 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 people would rather like it in Danish, then well probably you know there's a year next year as well and stuff like that. So so we can do we can do do a lot of other things. <clears throat> Nice to see all your comments, by the way. I really, really appreciate that you that you, that you, you uh, that you contributed and and add to this. That's that's cool. I'm 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 very happy about that. Well, back to 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 this fly. Um, 
we're going to switch to 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 the to the popper in a second. I just want to talk a little about how to actually use this. I'm going to use this on uh, probably mainly on, on the coastline, but also probably in you know in some some streams and stuff like that. And I'm going to tie this in 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 the loop, so uh, so so it will dangle because these uh, these small crustaceans they swim very very erratic. They are all over the place. I'm just going to link here so you can have a a better better close-up view of this they will be all over they swim swim very very erratic and, and very very uh, unpredictable so basically tied in a small loop and then uh, you know fish it in still water fish it upstream in in uh, in uh, in, in in streaming water or fish it on the coastline on these very 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 silent very very quiet days where the fish are you know very very sca uh, scared uh, easily and and cautious then this can definitely do the do the trick Hello, Kuba. Uh, nice to hear from uh, Poland as well. Could you write out in the chat just uh, just for fun where you're from? That would be really really cool to see where people are are from. Yeah, yeah, Johannes. There's going to be more pike and perch, and there's going to be a perch fly now. But you know, um, I want to uh, you know diversify this as much as possible and and really really uh, you know reach reach uh, a lot of different people with this. So uh, so. I will do some pike, and and you have had two or three pike flies so far, so so uh, I think I think uh, I think you you've had your fair share of uh, of the fun stuff, the stuff you like at least. Okay. Denmark, Copenhagen, uh, Canada, Czech Republic, Czech Canada, Republic, London, Belgium. Nice, <laughs> nice. nice stuff. I just have to make some adjustments here. Voins. <laughs> Good one, Christian. <laughs> Voins is nice. Oh my god, no, this is gonna be okay. I have to try something now. So if you have to go get a beer or something to drink or or you know, I, I have to, to disconnect one of the cameras in order to make this uh, make this uh, uh, steady for for the next fly. Is that okay? That's probably perfect there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. So as I was saying, I'm just checking some some things to see if everything is sharp and in focus and stuff like that. There it is. The reason why I have to do this and disconnect and stuff like that is because, um, <laughs> well, um, when I bought these cameras for this, I bought two uh, identical, uh, two identical webcams, and what that means is my system recognizes that I have two cameras, but it has the the two cameras has the exact same name. So in order for, to adjust one, I have to disconnect that one and then reattach and stuff like that. It's just you know basically just you know not very clever. But, uh, well, there probably is some kind of smart solution that I just haven't thought of or haven't figured out yet. But, you know, yeah. So be it. Good. Uh, the time is for this one now. And, uh, and as you can see, this is a popper, but it's not a very big one. This is what I would call a very teeny tiny small little... It, itty bitty little nice popper but this is a good size for for perch and i'm gonna do this on a tube because there's a lot of advantages by tying tube flies especially for poppers and stuff like that because you can get the hook exactly the hook you choose and you can have the hook uh, way down here you can have a light hook so so it will not uh, burden your popper uh, 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 unnecessarily and that's important because um these poppers, you want them to make as much noise as possible, um, and, uh, and 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 if you have to have enough uh, free room, uh, free gape on, on your hook, you have to use a fairly large hook in order to tie poppers on them. So so to tie it on, on a tube really, really makes a lot of sense. So that's what we're going to do now. And I can see the only thing I have not located for this is the tube. And uh, in order for this to work, I'm going to take a smaller tube um, uh, than, than what I use for pike flies. For pike flies, I use uh, the future fly tube that is 4.6 millimeters. This is only 3 millimeter. And I'm just going to take uh, 
but we don't need much just a small piece of this and I'm gonna gonna heat it up in the end here the same dubbing needle as as used for pike flies will will you will be will work for for the three millimeter uh, tubes and also if if you want to if you do not uh, if you're not familiar with uh, with tube flies and and you can simply just you know take this pattern and instead of of tying it on a tube you can apply a hook that will suit the purpose you know a stinger hook of some sort or something like that okay so far so good what we want to do now is is basically this fly is is fairly simple i'm gonna i'm gonna tie on here on the tube but i'm gonna leave about a centimeter or something like that uh, half an inch if you're from the states um, uh, because I want the, the, the tube here and, and the hook to be a bit further uh, behind uh, uh, from, uh, from, from the rest of, of, of this fly in order for, for the hooking properties to be as good as possible. A nice hook for this would actually be the same hook we tied the, uh, we tied the, uh, the gamma rose on only in, in bigger sizes. These are really really great and they hook fantastic, simply simply just fa fantastic. So you could use one of these for, for, for perch. And basically we're going to use, um, well, as little as four different materials. We're going to use some, uh, some fairly inexpensive loose hackle, loose, uh, loose uh, rooster hackles. We're going to use some, uh, some headrun uh, flashy boo and fire tiger, some, uh, some chartreuse uh, bucktail, and then some, uh, some chartreuse, uh, chartreuse uh, marabou, and of course some popper heads and some eyes. And, uh, and these popper heads are simply just freaking awesome those are the double barrel shotgun heads from uh, from flyman fishing company and th those are the lightest the best designed and uh, and easiest to work with popper heads i ever encountered and they are truly truly great and the name is awesome yeah double yeah. barrel <laughs> yeah they sound nice they sound nice and, and they really really work well so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a bundle of bucktail and i can see the light here is is a bit harsh on uh, on this, I hope this. Uh, I hope it looks as well as a rattle shrimp. Someone is six <laughs> wanting. Are you making a tying video for bass or with that flex time? Uh, I'll, I'm gonna try to to see if I can do that. But the problem with uh, with ragworms because that's the English worms word with, with bass or is I have the best one that ever is. It's called the one worm, and and I really f find it difficult to you know to tie anything else for my for my box because. That just looks absolutely awesome. So basically, and normally for pike flies, I tie this reverse, but I'm not going to do that for this one. This is not going to be too big, so I'm just going to take a small uh, bundle here, and uh, and I'm gonna, not going to use it in full length because I do not want this to be too long, too big. I want to catch the 30 centimeter uh, uh, as well. So like that. Basically, just so it's you know distributed fairly evenly all the way around the tube here or the hook depending on what you're using and then I'm just gonna cut off all this I'm not gonna use that this is a fairly fairly easy pattern but you know uh, uh, there's no need to make this too elaborate and, and too difficult uh, this is this is definitely a pattern that will that that works and uh, and works very very well I must say I do not have personal too much personal experience with uh, with perch but but I've seen uh, or bass for that instance because this can easily easily be used for 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 bass if you're from the states as well um but but I'm familiar with what <laughs> what they will eat these uh, these these perch and and this is definitely something that's going to work just going to move it a bit like so the next next thing we're going to use is we're going to take some and this is just the standard flashy boo because for a smaller fly you want uh, you want some flesh that is not too wide and and the the magnum flesh will be will be too bulky and too too broad for this so i'm basically just taking a, f a fairly small bundle of uh, of regular uh, regular flashy boo uh josephine may i'm from denmark uh small country in the far far north of europe um She's also from Denmark. <laughs> she is? Yeah. She just wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yours. Um, so what I did was I, I simply, I, I just, uh, I pulled these out so they were not uniform in length and then I doubled it. And then I'm going to take this and going to make it slightly longer than the, uh, slightly longer than the, uh, than the, um, than the bucktail. And then I'm going to tie it down on top of where I tied down the bucktail like so.
basically that's it. I'm gonna cut off this and this I'm gonna throw away because I do not want this to be too bulky. Uh, well, basically this is not for a fish that is one meter long. It's for, for perch and you know perch can be very very greedy. I've caught perch on some of my pike flies as well. Even on fairly large pike, fly, pike flies. But uh, but in order for this to be optimized and, and be a very good pattern for for perch in general you do not it won't you do not need it to be too big it's okay that it has some size um, and for bass i imagine that also is is okay but but too big will will not be uh, will not be something that uh, that you you're you're aiming for well basically what you do now is you take four of these uh, loose uh, rooster feathers here two and two i'm just going to find four that that is nice, and if you want, uh, if 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 you are ordering, uh, if you're ordering uh, feathers like this from the shop, and and you want something specific, just write something in the commentary to the order that you need these for. Let's say you need these for smaller poppers, and I will of course select the 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 best ones for you for for your specific uh, purpose. Uh, so so anytime if if you have a special request or, or something, if if you orders for, order are making an order from a shop, just write down uh, write it in the uh, the commentary to 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 the to to that specific order, and I will do my best to uh, to uh, to get you exactly what you needed. I'm gonna tie these in individually. You could tie them in all at once, but but it's gonna look better if you tie them in one at a time. So two on each side here. A, a bit overlapping so they are you know as you can see here they are sticking out towards you uh, in different angles yeah surfish fishing is pure pure awesomeness uh, I did not have that much time to fish for pike this year and and I really really regret that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take take my revenge next year I think but uh, but this year really really went up in uh, in, in silver scales for me you know I got that salmon buck and once you get that salmon buck it's damned hard to get rid of I really really was 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 uh, was stricken badly with that this year uh, I was just salmon 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 uh, those fish are just yeah magnificent and epic creatures in every regards so like that and uh, well, basically, you could add a feather more on each side if you want, but this this will do the trick. There's no need to 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 uh, to make this too bulky. And uh, basically, um, you you now need a marabou feather. And I can see I've used some of these. So I'm just gonna take one that's not been used. Can find the right one. This was a nice one. So I'm going to take this and uh, and and I can see that uh, the feathers uh, they are longer here on this side. So basically, what I'm going to do is so I take uh, these two fingers and I you, you can get a tool for this, but uh, but I I just I just like to yeah you know, I just do it by by hand, and and then I take my scissors and I cut all the way up to the hackle stem here, and this gives me. You know, I, I probably you could have used the Mark Pitishang tool or something like that. But this works as well. I'm gonna collect these like that. I got too little here. Ah, maybe that's okay. I'm gonna take a little more. So I get a nice bundle of uh, nice bundle of marabou here, you know, kind of like a tail for for a woolly bugger or something like that. I'm gonna cut off some of this so it's change the camera again. Cut off some of this so so it's it has uh, kind of like uh, uh, the exactly the same length of uh, of of uh, of ends here, and then I'm gonna tie these down and I'm gonna tie these down so they're pointing forward. Again, try to distribute these as evenly as you can around here. Oh, and you could, of course, have added some super glue to to all the other stuff if you wanted to, like so. But this is going to point forward here, and then I'm going to make my whip finish here on the tube, just in front of all the other thing I, I tied down, like so, like that. I'm going to cut off this, 
Um, and and when you fish for perch, then of course uh, the the one of the best thing for perch is fishing deep, which is kind of the opposite of what we're doing here. But otherwise, uh, uh, they're quite ferocious, uh, quite ferocious predators. So, so when you're fishing for these, uh, do not uh, be frightened of, of actually using some speed. They will chase this down, and, and they are aggressive, aggressive hunters, and they hunt in packs as well. So speed can be very, very useful for these. Uh, so I have my popper head here. And in one end, uh, there is kind of a dentation, uh, but, but there is no hole all the way through here. So I'm going to take a needle, and then I'm simply going to tunnel a hole into the head here. Maybe that's better on the other camera. You see? Like that. And of course, I need something that is going to uh, make this hole wide enough for this to, to actually fit over my tube. So I'm gonna I'm just going to heat my needle up a bit. Not too much. I do not want it to be glowing hot, because that will be kind of productive. Then my head will simply just melt apart. But I really, really need to expand this. Like that. And uh, in order to do that, you can use other tools. That is, maybe have a bit bigger diameter or something like this. Because you, you really need to have a, a hole that has the, the correct diameter. This is probably the most annoying part of tying something like this. It's easier to get this to fit over a, over a hook, of course, than it is over the tube, and that's probably the only advantage that the hook has over the tube, I think. But um, I think it's there now, so basically I take all this and I just hold this backwards, like so. I'm gonna take my popper head here, and I'm gonna put it onto the tube. But before I mesh it all the way, I'm going to take some uh, Sabagap. Hold everything back here. And just apply some Sabagap to the tube, not onto, not directly onto the Marabou. And then I'm going to push this as far as I can down here. And uh, that's going to stay there. And as you can see, nice and easy, and it looks well. It has has all the, the the right stuff. A lot of different things that will move very very erratic. It will look kind of a lot like a frog, uh, which is I think is a good thing. And uh, now um, all you need to do is add some eyes, um, and I think this is five millimeter eyes that fits there. But I think I've brought the wrong. <laughs> I think I have probably. A bit too big, these I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut a little of these so they will fit better. Yeah, yeah, you know how it is. That looks rather evil if I'd cut it the other way. Like so. I'm gonna take the other one and, and do that for your side. So this will have to be like this. <clears throat> and you know, the, the, this fishing with poppers is, is something that I really, really enjoy and, and really, really love. Um, I think it's the coolest fishing ever. I'm going to take a smaller eye. That, that didn't work out for me very well, that thing. Basically, what you do is uh, you take an eye, and and before you, you apply the eye, you of course take some super glue or some UV glue and stuff like that. Just put some small super glue, a small amount of super glue into the dentation there, and uh, and that's also one of the really really great things about these is that they have these dentations already uh, pre-made, so so your eyes will be will be protected. And if you really really wanna wanna be sure that nothing ever goes away, you can just add a bit of. A bit of UV glue, and then shine the light. I can locate it. Like so. And there you have it. If you really want to make this stand out and look cool, you can, you can of course, glue a, 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 Mohican, a Mohican sunker strip onto here and stuff like that. You can pull pull some legs through here and stuff like that. But but I like this fairly simple, fairly, fairly nice and, and you know, uh, not that uh, fairly inexpensive, easy to tie uh, version that, that, that really, really swims a lot because of all these different uh, components, the bucktail, the flesh, the, the feathers and, and the marabou will work uh, very, very great and really, really makes this come truly alive. 
UV glue all the way. So Finland as well. And Scotland as well. Hello there. Um, well, basically, um, that was quite a fast fly, this last one. Um, we, we're done with uh, with uh, with ten minutes to go. So, so what I would like to uh, to ask you all is uh, is if you have any kind of questions about anything whatsoever, then please please feel away and and uh, and uh, and uh, and ask a lot now because uh, well you know I'm not going anywhere. I st oh I still have some. Well now it's probably rather warm, <laughs> but it's still drinkable uh, beer, and uh, and of course I'm just gonna you know do a bit of. of commercial stuff now oh a bit of it I'm just gonna link here to to my shop so if you haven't seen my shop then all the materials for for this and loads and loads of other of other flies are available of course in in my shop and I really really would uh, would be honored and, and appreciate it if, if you if you uh, if you uh, yeah it, it took a look uh, at, at that otherwise as I said uh, when when we started out here um, this is uh, a thing that I'm gonna continue so so I'm gonna do this every Thursday at this uh, at this hour at, at 20 um, GTM plus one I think it's called um, and and uh, and, uh, and uh, join us uh, if, if, if you think that that our rantings or my rantings mostly <laughs> tonight at least uh, will be um, would be uh, is something that you you would like to 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 be a part of because uh, because well I'm having we're having a lot of fun and uh, and uh, and we really think this is a cool way of of reaching out and and doing some stuff uh, and and you can influence of course as I said before you can influence exactly what we're gonna do um, on Monday I'm gonna plan the next six or seven I'm gonna make a complete program for the next six or seven uh, live streams the next six or seven Thursdays so the program is gonna be fixed and it's gonna be easy to access and you're probably gonna be able to buy complete material packages for the flies uh, that's gonna be on that Thursday in advance so when we start you can actually have the materials with you before we start and you can tie along uh, while while uh, while while I while we talk a lot about this, 7 p.m. GTM. Yeah, exactly, David. 7 p.m. GTM. Some are talking about EST. Is that some time zones as well, or or what? Restock ST 36 BC. STC BC. I think I have those. Is that not the triple hook? I have the triple hook in all those sizes, the the um, the owner triple hook. I have them. So early spring. Um, oh, thank you, Knud. I'm, I'm very uh, very very nice of you to say so. Yeah, we're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, some big streamers as well, and and of course some salmon flies, some pike flies, some perch flies. Some trout flies as well. It's it's basically it's all up to you. It's it's uh, as I said before. Join the Facebook group uh, live stream fly tying, and uh, and uh, and uh, and then you can you can of course help decide exactly what patterns, exactly what what type of fishing you would like to to see more of, and and we'll have a talk about uh, tying those flies and and of course how to fish these flies because I think that's important as well to actually be able to you know talk about how you use them like I did with the gamaros here and and like I did with with this popper. Um, as I said before, Andy, my live stream is two different webcams in, in the best quality I could find. And then I have some kind of program that you need in order to be able to live stream from, from YouTube. It's called... I can't really recall what that's called. I can't see it here. Uh, I can... Uh, if you write me on... Uh, if you write me on... Uh, on Facebook, Andy, we can... Uh, we can... Uh, I, I, I can... I can... I can tell you... Tell you more. Well, yeah, more or less, but but John is 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 probably uh, not probably, but but one of the best dry fly and nymph nymph fishermen I, I ever met. He really, really, really excels at that. Uh, uh, but also at salmon, uh, he's he's very, 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 very good as well. Um, you've not caught that many pike, have you? Mm, years ago. Years ago, yeah. <laughs> but but basically, I I think now you're yeah you're, you're salmon and trout, right? Yeah, dry fly. Dry fly nymph fishing for brown trout, graylings. Just returned from New Zealand lately. Doing a lot of tropical fly fishing. Oh yeah, yeah. 
bonefish permit John Travelli going to the Maldives in April. Yeah, <laughs> living the life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, the the last GT you got was just yeah, that was that was the fish of a lifetime for sure. Yeah. But also some of the trout you got on, on New Zealand, even though you had some harsh harsh conditions, yeah, yeah, was very very nice. Difficult weather conditions this time, definitely. A lot of rain and a lot of flooded rivers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but still, one month in paradise, yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. A bad month in New Zealand is yeah. way better than a good month in Denmark anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, uh, the fishing and the people the and... Outdoor yeah. office. Yeah. New yeah. Zealand. If you haven't uh, gone to New Zealand, then we both recommend it very, very much. You've been there like six, seven times, something six, like six, that? Six, six, no, five times, I think. Five? I'm, I'm not really sure. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds... I, 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 I went to New Zealand two times, but that's like 12 years ago, something like that. Two winters uh, for three months, both both times, and that was that was probably the best fishing experience ever because to actually have you know trout and in, in uh, three three and four kilos simply just you know rise from from these completely clear waters two meters down and grab a dry fly well you can catch a lot of different things and and, and have a lot of very very cool experience but to see that to see those these graceful graceful completely freakishly big beasts simply just rise with this this insanely clear water and grab a small dry fly that is yeah that's that's spectacular. That really is spectacular. Really is spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are really big. Um, as you go along on the riverside, uh, you you look for big locks and stuff like that in the river. And it's a lock until it moves. Then it's a fish. So you have to cast for everything. <laughs> you have regarding the absolute best fly for sea trout this time of year. I would have to say that my absolute best fly for sea trout all year is Pedigreesen. I'm sorry, that's well, but that that's basically it. I use Pedigreesen probably 80% of the time when I fish, and 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 that really, really, really work. Um, and and besides that, I like Brenda quite a lot, and also you know the worm patterns and and some of the sand eels and stuff like that. Um, but also the um, also the what's that called the the gray one the the rainbow pig, rainbow swine, is very, very well as well for, for, for sea trout. Really, really. It's kind of like a pedigrees, only in uh, in more neutral grizzly uh, colors. And yeah, we will probably be going to tie some uh, nymph and some dry fly patterns yeah. uh, online as well. Yeah, we will. And uh, and yeah. uh, the basic idea is to, to have these live streams every Thursday, and then Monday or Tuesday I'm going to release um, a video as well. So there's going to be a, a, a fly tying video made from uh, with with the Canon camera, you know, basically what I've done <coughs> so far, and then uh, I'm going to release one of those every week, uh, you know, in in different in different types of fly nymphs and dry flies, pike flies, saltwater, whatever, and uh, but then also do this uh, also do this live stream, and I'm going to plan ahead so so you will have if you uh, the ones that are in in the Facebook group. Um, and and probably also here, well, I will link next time to. Um, to a complete, uh, the Facebook group is this. To a complete list of uh, of the flies that's that that we're gonna that we're gonna tie for 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 the next uh, uh, for the next five six or seven uh, seven weeks something like that. But um, well, basically, I think I think that's about uh, that about wraps it up. Um, uh, we appreciate a lot that you, uh, you 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 spend an hour with us here <laughs> listening to uh, listening to us talk about fishing and and and, uh, and, and keeping us company tying here and uh, thank you for all the commentaries out, out here and and for watching and well basically i think um, yeah yeah until further notice hope to see you next uh, next thursday as well same place same time take Have care a great evening bye <laughs> bye